Welcome back, everybody, to a little bit of Assassin's Creed 3, and I apologize. What the? F Why? Really? Uh. Okay. <laughs> can I can I stand on him? No. Can I do stuff? No. All right. Good times. And uh, nonetheless, <laughs> I'm sorry for not doing a whole lot of videos lately. Uh, my LPs have slowed down a lot just because I haven't really been as motivated lately, and I really do apologize for that. Um, I know different YouTubers do go through, you know, periods where maybe they just don't YouTube as much, but that's not something I normally do, and I will not let that be, um, something that's okay. So, pretty much what's going to happen right here is I'm going to get back in and hopefully start getting some LPs in again. Uh, Assassin's Creed needs to be finished. Uh, I just haven't been as motivated to play it lately for whatever reason. Why is he... Moving so oddly, the snow's messing him up that much, huh? All right, well, beside the point. And um, uh, Walking Dead, I definitely want to play. I just, like I said, the motivation hasn't been there. Even though that game's great, and I, I do really enjoy playing it, and I know a few of you are really enjoying it. But um, so Assassins, I want to get done. Walking Dead, I want to get done. Uh, as always, playing Civ, and uh, then we can talk about some other LPs. Uh, I'm not sure what those are going to be yet, but. We'll uh, we'll come to that as we come to that. I'm not as worried about that because these things need to get finished. Let me turn my volume up. It seems really quiet. Do 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 do. You know, this would probably kill him through hypothermia, but or pneumonia at least. But eh, you know, whatever. Snow, water. Let's go for a swim and not dry our clothes. <laughs> come on, come on. So anyways, um, with the Assassin's Creed thing, it'll be interesting to see if I can get back into the swing of things. Let's see how bad I've gotten, because I've probably forgotten controls. Not that I was ever probably good at the game anyway. I met him once, that happened. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. I tell ya, legs like tree trunks on a smithy's arms. Almost broke my hand shaking a little dough. I could feel it then when I met him. No weapon made by man could harm him. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Hey, what are you doing here? Training begins. Didn't it already begin? I'm confused. What's going on? Go away. Say go away, boy. Do not speak the king's English. Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. What is going on? She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly. Uh, with a little affection, uh, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy. The ghost of the North Seas. The boat. Ab ab Boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you finished here. Uh... You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some, some Skill. quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it, she, is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. I'll raise a crew. <sighs> <laughs> okay, whatever you say. So how about instead of jumping around in the water, because, you know, jumping in the water is amazing and kind of impossible, unless you're, well, Sonic. Yeah, Sonic can jump in the water. Aquila. Aquila, Aquila. We missed it. Damn it. I blame myself. 
Uh, controls, I hate you so much. All right, the Aquila. Uh, don't let appearances deceive you. You're looking at the former flagship of the Assassin Navy, if perhaps a little past its prime. The Aquila was built in France in 1749 in the city of Brest. Stop it. <laughs> but but I want to stop. All right, fine. The design was incredibly innovative for its time. The ship was light, fast, and could carry a surprisingly a uh, surprising amount of artillery for its size. It would be decades before there were schooners that could match the Aquila's speed. Of course, there was some disadvantages to the design, namely that the ship handling was very touchy and required an experienced crew. That meant the Aquila was underutilized until the assassins hired someone who would be able to use the ship to its full potential, Robert Faulkner. In 1754, the Aquila followed a Templar ship into a storm and was lost with all hands aboard, or so we wanted the Templars to think. In reality, it sustained only minor damage, was refitted, and became the assassins' secret weapon, staying out of major harbors, using its speed and the element of surprise to harass ships on Templar business. The Aquila took on mythical qualities. It was whispered about in ports along the eastern seaboard as the ghost of the North Seas, a pirate vessel crowded by or crewed by ghosts that could appear and disappear into a sudden fog. This reputation was due both to Faulkner's uncommon skill and the uh, superstitious nature of most sailors who loved a ghost story and all wanted to marry a mermaid. That's weird. Eventually, the Templars cottoned on, cottoned on to what would ha what had happened. Really, that's that's a verb in that situation. All right, but it did take them more than a decade. They weren't the sharpest tools, let's say, in a box full of spoons. In 1768, the ship was caught in a trap by three British frigates. Ooh, shoot. Uh, the Aquila was able to limp away from the battle, but ran aground in shallow water. The British left it for the lost. Robert Faulkner survived the battle and had the ship towed back to a private bay near Boston, where it and Faulkner slowly deteriorated. That is, until Connor found them both. <clears throat> All right, reach Achilles. Ooh. If I knew the words to Achilles' last hand, I would sing it. But I do not. And it's a long song, even though it's good. And I really wish we didn't have to slowly trudge through snow. Snow sucks. Doody, 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 doody. Oh, look at me pressing buttons on time. Look at me pressing buttons. Uh... Isn't this where we're supposed to go? Are we getting lumber from here? Ah, bloody hell. Ah. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Pretty sure we're supposed to go to the lumber mill. The main objective is reach Achilles... But I'm assuming this little side quest is probably a good thing to do. There's a horse back there, probably, wasn't there? Ugh, oh, man. Seriously, my mind is just shattered lately. It is not working properly at all. Well, shoot, even when it did work up to snuff, it's not like it ever worked all that well in the first place. Oh, self deprecation. It's the best. Come back here, platypus. Can I, can I kill it? Get, get, get. Oh, platypus or beavers. Sorry, guys. That's oh, a beaver. I feel really bad about killing those animals. Not enough to not stab them, I would assume, because that's kind of what I did, but. Uh, for someone that plays relatively violent games, I'm really bad about, well, being violent. <laughs> Oh god, the river current is fast. <laughs> All right. Uh can we get up that? Yeah. Good job, Connor. You might not be useless, but no one likes you. <laughs> All right. Uh can we talk to one of these guys about getting lumber? Well, I'm assuming not you, but we'll talk to you none at all. Okay, good, good, good now. Good, 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 good. Okay, one of you, can you, one of you be useful? Kid, no. Buddy, give me, no, not. Hey, bud, can you give me lumber? Oh, my God. Really? Give lumber. Lumber here. 
Oh my god. Can one of you guys give me lumber? Yes? Trade? Tradesies? No? Just, just going to shut the door right on my face, huh? Alright, well I guess we are just going to go to Achilles. I'm so confuzzled. What? No, I don't want to hunt. We really, we really can't just fast travel back there. Really? Oh my god. I'm cutting it there. I'll, I'm going to run back and I'll, I'll resume. Okay, well, I feel good that I at least, you know, was going the right way off the bat. My first thought was the right one, and I should have followed it. But, like, then it says, okay, well, you need to go reach Achilles. And he says, well, when you're done, go reach me. So, I say, okay, well, maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. Are you going to give me timber? Uh, there you are. I have something to but show I haven't you. done anything yet. Um, take a look. Except waste time. <laughs> what is it? A <sighs> ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Okay. Uh, the stockpile allows you to purchase items from homesteaders and display the items you currently own. Oh my god, I swear if I can buy timber here. Yep. <sighs> Godfried and Terry have oak lumber available for purchase. Okay, so we want three, correct? Stockpile now contains oak lumber. Press B to leave the stockpile. Select the trading menu. Uh, the oak logs can be sold to merchants through convoys. Items must be assigned to the convoy. Press A to select a merchant to whom the items will be sold. Monitor time, risk, tax, as they will vary depending on that. Press Y to send the convoy. Uh, I don't even care about this, really. <laughs> uh, sure. Yes, we did good, precious. I don't. I honestly don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, okay, well, so that's a new game mechanic. Seems pretty nice, actually. But time passed quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. I wish they'd stop jumping through time. What time allowed me was spent learning about the Templars, about Charles Lee and my father. Oop, I no, longed we to confront them. To put an end to their schemes. To ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. Ooh, we have a horse now. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Patience. Restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. Hell yeah. But in time, <laughs> I mastered them as well. Days became months. <sighs> months became years. Really? There was land, and the whole entire lake, I find the one place there's land. That is some crap. <laughs> well, we're here. I, do we need to go here? Docks, mini games. Definitely not doing mini games. Uh, people to talk to. Homestead mission. Okay. We still really still can't fast travel that is really unfortunate that seems am I, am I just forgetting how to fast travel I mean I, I could see that being hmm. that's really unfortunate that you can't fast travel like that do I have to use this no because this guy should go to the different places like that Okay, well, the Aquila must be equipped with cannon at Martha's Vineyard. Officers must also be hired to command the new guns. You want to start this naval mission? Sure. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 no. Not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. Huh. I wasn't aware of that. She is... Solid? 
Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. Okie dokie. All in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! And over fist! I don't Come see on, any man. crew. Let's get her out where she needs to be. Maybe this is a ghost ship. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. <laughs> well, at least we're getting some progress through the game. It's a plus. East Coast, 1773. Hey look, it's the same guys that crew every single ship in this game. Awesome. <laughs> Come on, lad, no time like the present. Do, 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 do. <laughs> naval ships. <clears throat> uh, you probably don't know much about the 18th century naval warfare because you don't know much about anything at all. So here's a rundown of some of the types of vessels you'll likely encounter. Frigates. These are long, relatively light vessels with lots of guns. More than 28 if you want to get technical about it. Frigates were light and easily maneuverable, so they were used often for reconnaissance or escorting merchant vessels. Frigate is also a terrific word to use if you want to swear, but your mother-in-law is nearby. Gunboats. These were smaller vessels, generally containing only one gun, but it was a really big gun. The gun, is the, uh, the gun in the boat is where the term gunboat gets the word gun from. It's not known why the word boat is there. Of course not. Uh, gunboats were relatively inexpensive to build and could be assembled quickly. They were more often used to embark targets on land. Although gunboats can easily be destroyed by a larger ship, such as a frigate, several gunboats together could do serious damage before a larger ship could destroy them all. Strength in numbers and guns, of course. Mostly guns. Schooners. Schooners are a small light craft noted for their speed. They are the preferred ships for privateers during the American Revolution. There was nothing better for breaking through enemy lines faster than you can get shot at, or for making a fast getaway. Nowadays, of course, we have jet skis. The Man of Wars. Nice. This is really a naval classification, but more of a catch-all term for a warship carrying a lot of cannon. Most of the Man of Wars you see will likely be ships of the line, which are essentially big ships with multiple gun decks stacked on one another. Basically, naval warfare consisted of lining up your ships broadside against the enemy's ships in order to hit them with the most cannonballs possible. Of course, the enemy would be trying to do the same thing. Predictably, the biggest ships with the most guns usually won, leading to the building of more ships with even bigger guns. It wasn't sophisticated, but by God, it worked. Well, something like that. Come I... on, come on, she won't bite. Oh God, I'm gonna steer this. We're gonna crash this thing. You're connected to her now. Listen and feel. She's idle. If you call for half sail, the men will hop to it and she'll pick up. Oh, this is such half a bad idea. Sail. All into half sail. Ha ha! The killer flies again. Do you feel it, lad? Oh man, this thing moves. course for Martha's Vineyard. Pretty fast. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Oh, this is... full sail. We need full every sail. Whoa! Full sail. This can't be a good idea. This cannot be a good idea. I can't Look see shit, Captain. Stay alert, Connor. Gusty winds can be difficult to manage. Half sail. Ah. Tenchi knows how to do naval things. Kind of. Go against the wind. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. It's like uh, riding on a motorcycle on really, really heavy winds. You actually have to lean against the wind. <laughs> Pretty, pretty crazy. Now, take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And it